Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be discussing the possibility of Joe Manchin leaving the Democratic Party. This article came out recently on Mother Jones. I don't know if I've ever like heard of this like website or like thing before. Um, but I think I've seen this like twice on here. So, or I think I've seen this article twice. Um, I don't know if this is like only from this website or if it's like widely been like reported. And if I just like randomly happened to see this website twice, um, but yeah, if you want to go find this article, go, like, type in Joe Manchin into Google, and I think it's one of, like, the first articles, um, also, I think I've probably done a video on Joe Manchin leaving before, but this is something more realistic, basically, if Democrats don't cut the social infrastructure bill in half, he said that he will leave the Democratic Party, according to some people or something, um, he would become an independent, and apparently he also, like, doesn't see himself still being a Democrat after 2022 or something. Um, so, I think he's probably an independent at that point in time. I have gone ahead and given New Hampshire and Arizona to the GOP, and this puts them in a very, very good, like, place in the Senate makeup. Looking at this, 52 seats with one independent that would realistically maybe caucus with them. We go look at 2022, I've just given Hawaii to, like, we're just going to let that be mansion seat, um, because, or not I say because, but we obviously know it's, like, not going to flip, um, and it's also kind of, like, not, it's not in, like, the continental U.S., it's Democratic seat on this map, it's, like, sort of out of the way, um, so, just looking at this, it's very possible that Nevada does slip. I don't think that Georgia flips. Um, I think that Warnock is a really strong candidate. I think that Colorado flipping might be a bit of a stretch. Maryland and Vermont could both flip, but I think those might be stretches. Um, but let's just assume that New Hampshire and Arizona are the only flips. In 2022, John Tester probably loses. Joe Manchin, in this scenario, probably retains his seat. However, Sherrod Brown realistically probably does lose. Tammy Baldwin maybe loses. We can be nice to her and give her her seat. Um, Kirsten Sinema maybe loses. We can be nice to her and give her her seat. Um, but there are definitely quite a few, um, at least mildly competitive seats. This puts the GOP in a really, really good place. 54 seats, one independent that would be relatively favorable probably towards the GOP. That generally puts them in a really good spot. I think that, um, obviously Republicans should want this, but that it would probably help them even more. Um, especially if Manchin leaves the Democratic Party. Like, not that he necessarily feels much pressure to, like, vote party line, but it might be even, like, less pressure if there even is any that he, like, feels to vote party line. He might, like, vote more heavily for the GOP. Um, so you know, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Put the comment your suggestions down below, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.